Hello dear students and today I am bringing up to you the interpretation of syphilis test. Okay, when I was making uh, this class on syphilis, I have uh, this as an elaborate lecture in infections and pregnancy in my complete course. Those of you who are my students must be knowing that. I had included this syphilis serology and syphilis test as well. But I found that uh, on YouTube, uh, for the general people, for the general students, there is not enough, uh, you know, clarity on how to interpret syphilis tests. And uh, when you're in the OPD and the, uh, you know, patient brings up, brings up a VDRL positive test report to you, I've seen the students fumbling, not able to understand what should be your next step, how to interpret that test result, and what should be the thought in your mind, what does that, what does that test tell you? So today, in a very small amount of time, I'll try to, con you know, clear the confusion around all the syphilis tests. And then I'll be posting a quiz on my channel, my Telegram channel. Those of you who are, who are already aware of that channel should go ahead and watch that channel and assess for yourself whether you've been able to understand the interpretation or not. What should be the next test? So uh, let's begin with the class. There'll be a couple of announcements that I'll do towards the end of the lecture. So first of all, uh, the test results of syphilis. They are one of these six results that I've written on the board. That means either the patient will read to you a RPR report, a VDRL report, the EIA report, the TPPA report, or the TPHA report, or the FTABS report. And uh, what are these tests actually? The rapid plasma reagent, venereal disease research laboratory test, the VDRL which you all know, uh, immunoabsorption assay, that is EIA, then you have trypanemopalidum antibody uh, test, then you have trypanemopalidum hemagglutination assay, and then you have uh, the fluorescent tagged antibodies for uh, trypanemopalidum. Now, at the very outset, let me tell you that, first of all, these two tests and all these four tests, there is a difference. What is the difference is that uh, syphilis is what we're talking right now. Syphilis is the one which is caused by tryponema pallidum. What is tryponema? It's one of those spirochetes which cause syphilis, tryponema pallidum. But like tryponema, there are many other tryponemas as well. There are many other spirochetes which are causing other other diseases like yours, pinta and other many other uh, diseases which are all different kind of rare diseases being caused anyways by these one of these spirochetes. All right. Now, one of these spirochetes, if ever in your life had, uh, you know, at some point in time affected you. VDRL can come positive even with other spirochetes apart from tryponema pallidum alone. That means you might have had a disease which might be not syphilis, but from a tryponema. Right? In that case, these two tests can come positive. So they are non-specific tests for the patients who can have, who might have contracted syphilis or a likewise disease caused by a spirochete. Right? So in that case, RPR, rapid plasma reagent and VDRL can be positive. <clears throat> but the good thing about VDRL and RPR is that with life, as this disease is cured, they, the titers, they decrease. They improve. That means the VDRL that was positive before will, be, will become VDRL negative when the patient, once the patient is cured. You also know that syphilis has primary, secondary and tertiary stages. Yes or no? So primary stage died out, VDRL decreased. Secondary stage flared up, VDRL might become positive again. That is also a possibility. But... But in that case, in that case, these are the tests which will become always positive. Now comes the second quality, the second group of tests that is EIA, enzyme immunoabsorbent assay, uh, TPP, HA, TPP, A, all these tests, they are actually the tests which are specific for syphilis antibodies. Did I say IgM, IgG? No, that means these tests, they uh, uh, detect both IgG and IgM antibodies, reactive, non-reactive. I'm not speaking about the titers. So when the question is asked, in many of your competitive examinations, sometimes even in your VIVA, even in OSCE, these kind of questions can ask, where I'll be asking you to uh, just interpret the chart, in which I'll give you EIA, IgM is positive, and VDRL is negative and TPPA is also positive. 
what just interpret the result similar kind of questions i'll be posting on my telegram channel i'll tell you about uh, the whole thing at the end of the lecture just watch it till the end so that you're able to understand what i'm trying to say so this comes the second group of tests is the four tests that i was talking to you about all these four tests they are specific for syphilis that means if one of these tests is also come positive that means in some point in time in life you had syphilis they stay positive if the patient was ever infected with syphilis so i'm talking about igg antibodies obviously over here they are positive that means the patient was at some point in time uh, infected with syphilis and that's why it's positive still so these are the tests with which you cannot follow up a patient once positive always positive so if you have to follow up a patient for your improvement in the titers it's the bdr test right so this is actually the interpretation to understand more uh, you will be able you you should have to undertake a quiz which will be uploaded on my telegram channel here's what i have to announce today so there is a net telegram channel which uh, i think all my regular students know about they've already joined the telegram channel by my name uh, i'll be posting the link in the description in the behind this video uh, it's very essential for you especially today to after watching this to go ahead and take that quiz because that will make you understand how much do you understand of the syphilis test at the same point in time uh, that is a channel in which i take my regular classes every sunday or at 9 pm so you get to be directly in touch with me uh, during that hour 9 to 10 and uh, currently i'm taking endocrinology uh, live classes on uh, my channel and uh, by this uh, video i'd also like to announce that my updated uh, course for dnb students has now been recently published that uploaded course is like you have you know the new editions for your different books I, it's the same way i have introduced a lot of study material extra study material uh, for the students of dnb uh, earlier on many of you wanted uh, you know my uh, apart from my lectures you also wanted uh, the pdf notes for almost every class that i take and now it is so almost all the classes that i have taken are supplemented with equal number of notes so that you don't have a problem in writing the examination and you do not have to see my classes again and again so um these were the most important two announcements that i want to make the way to uh, join my classes is by by uh, going ahead and uh, just uh, uh, you know taking off my um, uh, channel from the google play store you have to just go ahead and download my uh, app from the google play store and uh, join that play store and uh, i'm sorry do join the classes and just go ahead and see search in the box you'll be able to find out where the classes are you just have to write down if you want to see the answer bank just write down the answer bank and the pop up will show you all the packages for answer bank theory classes just write down theory uh, theory lecture or theory package you'll get all the packages that are available and you can choose it for yourself the payment is through uh, you know this uh, raise up it's a very very safe platform to uh, to pay up and uh, automatically your uh, uh, this thing will start the package is going to start this going to it's just going to open up and you can go ahead and study earlier on we did not have a laptop access and yes by today's lecture i I'd like to give a third announcement as well there's a laptop access now allowed for all my classes uh, including my videos and my notes so you don't have to go ahead and you know take out big big, big print outs you can go ahead and just easily see it on the laptop or on a tab that you use so with this i finish today's lecture join me today after this lecture for uh, a quiz on uh, syphilis serology interpretation and i hope you're all going to do it uh, all my students who are undergoing examinations on from monday all the best from my side you are going to rock it i'm very sure you are prepared you can do it and uh, please do tell me about your feedback after examination i'll be waiting as usual for your calls bye bye